Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20. This is Pahamar. And this is Direwolf20 and Pahamar on episode 17 of Material Energy Hypercubed. Cubed, cubed, cubed. Pahamar, how are you, sir? I'm good. I'm, I'm trying to make a longbow, but I can't seem to take this out. What materials did you use for stuff? I have a Hatteroth large plate, I have two slime bow limbs, and I have a normal bowstring. Hmm. Try not to use any metal from, like, the expanded metal and such. Like, okay, use just weird. normal metal. Normal metal, eh? Yeah, like iron or something more vanilla-ish. about black steel? That sounds cool. No, no it doesn't. That's not vanilla-ish. Dude. It sounds fancy. I know it does. How about we come back in a minute here after you've uh, made your bow, and I will explain some of the things I've done between last episode and this one. <laughs> I love that we just started the recording. We're like, and hey, we'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Pahamar, you got a bow. Yep, I took your advice. I did it with iron. Now nice. I have a bow. Okay. So, it's an iron plate, two slimy bow limbs, and a bowstring. So, I have this. Now what? Because you have, like, super fancy arrows and stuff. I do. They're cool. Um, so, the arrow head determines the damage. So, I made mine out of Alumite. Probably the best one to do it with is Manulin, but we don't have a good source of those materials. So, Alumite's probably your best bet. Uh, there's actually, um, do we have any, if you can throw some aluminum into the smeltery, it'll probably create some alumite. You might need to snag some of the nuggets that are over in those, uh, bushes, unless you got some. Uh, I got some nuggets, uh, going in now, but I'll cool. go. So I did a bunch of quests between last episode and this one, by the way. You did? I did. Look at you so fancy. Oh, you know, I try. I aim to please. It was a bunch of crafting and kind of like boring, repetitive stuff. Wow, I would... seven. Seven? I thought I had eight. Um, Wither Kitty Killer. Let's see, that's three quintuple... Ugh, I can't talk today. Quintuple compressed cookies. Yeah, that Wither Killer one, The I think it was Wither Witches or Wither Cats or something like that. It was not what I would call easy. Let's see, I don't have anything in Lost in Space. You know what I found Let's is see. interesting, by the way? What is interesting? A lot of the stairs around here are made out of quartz. So if we ever are low on nether quartz, maybe we can grind them up or something. Okay. Let's see, okay, I have one, two, I have six quests in Lost in Time. So let's see. Do you want a tank? See. Did you make a Joe in the tank? I did. I made all kinds of stuff. Uh, so let's see. Where are we? I don't think I turned any of these in yet, did I? Okay, there we go. So one was with our kitty killer. Um, killed with our kitten, so that's cool. Got us some quintuple compressed stuff. Um, sextuple compressed cookie. Did you just create that? Um, or maybe I, we did that one last episode. And I, just oh, I think I did it. that last time. Septuple. Let's see if we can do a septuple. Yeah. Um, I did compacting space. So that is uh, like the miniaturization mod thingy. Compact machines. So that's cool. And I'm just going to put this stuff in here that I don't need right at the moment. So the cookies I can put away. Uh, I made, um, let's see. Wither witches, I killed wither witches. So that's cool, I can claim that reward. Ooh, we get a sanguinite sword from that and some wither skulls. And wither skulls. skeleton skulls. That means we can summon withers. Nice. Or we like, can just load up Wild's dream again. Yeah, I don't want to do any of that. So I can put away my compact machines. What else did I do? I did a whole bunch of crafting. Uh, energy distributor, Ender energy distributor, I made that. 
That gets us a vibrant capacitor bank, which is cool. And position filter, which I'm not entirely sure what that is. It's from random things. Cool. So I can put that away. Ink vibrant sucks, capacitor nice. banks store a lot of energy, by the way. Joe in a tank. Obsidian broadsword. Not really enchanted or anything special about it, so boring. What else did I do? Oh, I made Hatteroth ingots, which is cool. And I made black steel ingots. Nice. Yeah. Is that all the quests? Did we hand it in? There's one more that I missed. So we'll add this Viber Capacitor Bank to the other 51 we have. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> we had a quest to collect Wither Skeleton Skulls. So by completing the Wither Skeleton Skull quest, we just completed one in Lost in Space now. Huh. Where was that one? I don't see it. We got an epic reward bag, by the way. I did see that. Oh, there it is. Reinforced Obsidian. Ooh, I got some Ender Energy Conduits, Ender Fluid Conduits, and Advanced Item Filters. So some good Ender IO stuffs. I got another shovel. What shovel. is this World Resizing Cube? Redstone. That has to do with um, compact machines, I assume. I got some mini me's. I got generic B and I got Biffa and I got Zisuma. Let's see, do I start with good and go to epic or do I go from epic to good? I got a bunch of cryothium dust and a sextuple compressed cobblestone. And I have 60 engineering processors, 60 printed engineering circuits, 60 printed silicone, and 10 1K ME storage components. Nice. I think oh, I yeah. had to craft I don't a printing press. I added another drive bay. I need dark steel blocks. I was cooking dark steel, wasn't I? I have generic bees battle axe. Not bad. Four full hearts. Uh, four ender tank glass, 20 ender tank frames, two ender tank valves, and two ender tank ener energy inputs. Nice. 40 1K ME storage components and 40 formation cores. TNT and flint and steel. By the way, he made the printing press from Bibliocraft really hard to craft. I just wanted to. Cut, I got Slowpoke's head. I'm going to go mount that. Oh, yes, do that. I did another quest just now and got a 64 ink sacks and another reward bag. Oh, and it's an epic reward bag, too. Ooh, I got a red heart canister. That is always welcome. No, oh, I can't use those hearts. Are you full on red heart canisters? They're full hearts for hardcore mode. Gotcha. So killing the withers, or uh, yeah, like the witches and stuff, that's why I had this area loaded up. And I got all the ender pearls out of there. So I think we have like a stack and a half of ender lily seeds now and lots of ender pearls. But I'm going to load back up the, um, I think our next area that we needed to explore really was, um, whatchamacallit, the rotunda area. I'm going to go put Slowpoke's head in the victory monument. That seems like a fitting place. All right, I'm about to unload the spatial I.O. Are you prepared? What would be a way I could tell if I was prepared? By not being in there. I can confirm I am not in there. All right. We've had problems with that in the past. More like you've had problems with that in the past. I'm pretty sure it was you who had problems with that in the past. I don't think I had any problems with that. <laughs> I may have locked you in there at some point. I'm sure you did. So by the way, um, I did kill some of these um, some of these zombies that spawn in here, and they dropped a really good sword. How good of a sword was it? It's this sword. Dang. Yeah. 
Like, I don't know if it's as good as the Sanguinite Sword that I have, but you're, you're welcome to have it. Just don't Flim Flam me. I don't even know what a Flim Flam is. It's a bad thing that you don't want to do. Well, you're going to help me get arrows. Oh, right. So did you make Alumite? Yeah, there's Alumite in there. Okay, so get a arrow mold and put it in here. I think there should be some in this pattern chest. Yeah, here, I'll do it for you. Go ahead and uh, right click. There you go. How many of these do I want? Just one. That's it? Yeah. But like, what if you want to stack? Oh, it, when you craft it, they have like a certain number of uses. Oh. And then you're going to need some feathers stuff, um, some fletching. And I think I used uh, slime leaves for that. So if you look, you'll see there's blue slime leaves. Did you just take them? No, but I found a leaf fletching. Yeah, you can use that. All right, That's slime the green leaves. one. Um, use the blue one. Use blue leaf. So there should be something like slimy blue leaves or something. No, I just have slimy leaves. There's nothing else like that. Yeah, they're blue though, right? Yes, they're blue. Okay, so use that to make a fletching over in the part builder. And make a wooden tool rod while you're at it. And then you can use those three items to put together into arrows. Okay, so... Ta -da. Okay. There you go. And I can repair that in here? Yes, you use Alumite to repair the arrows and you'll restock them, basically. Cool. Yep. So what you want to do is you want to put quartz on your arrows once you get some upgrades on them. So like the arrows are what does damage. Uh, what you want to put on your bow is haste, and that'll make it draw faster. So that's redstone. But in using it, you'll get like automatic upgrades. So just keep using your bow, and it'll upgrade like all the other Tinker's tools. All right, let's see. I'm not quite seeing how I can add quartz. Is it nether quartz? Yeah, but I don't think there's any upgrades on the Alamite arrows by default. So see how it doesn't have any upgrade slots? Yeah, okay. So as you use it, you'll start getting upgrade slots unlocked, and then you can do more with it. All right, well, we have cool. a ton of redstone, don't we? Uh, yes. Do you have any upgrades on the bow? I forget if it comes with one or not. Yeah, there's one. Okay. Yeah, so put uh, redstone. The trick is to use um, five blocks of redstone and five redstone dust, because you need 50 redstone. And you can put them in at the same time. That will just make it faster for you to do the... Yeah, there you go. So see how that does 10 at a time? That's just the trick. I was aware of that one, at least. Cool. So now the bow should draw faster. Neat. Yep. It won't be as crazy fast as my bow until you get more upgrades on it, but it'll work. So are you ready to go check out what this crazy zombie thing is all about? I think so. So I've got kind of an idea. I like it when you have kind of an idea. Yeah. How are we for like the ineffable glass stuff? Do we have a lot of that? Yes. Okay, good. I'm going to snag a stack and follow me. So in my testing by Mar, are you with me? Uh, yes. Okay. So in my testing, if you come follow me... I've found that as we round this corner here, if you look in the distance, there's some kind of blocks over there, and they look mm -hmm. to me like the wither-resistant blocks from Ender.io. Okay, I'm going to go do this on the other side, too. Okay. You love this ineffable glass trick, don't you? It's a good trick. I don't think anything that flies comes out of this thing, but just in case. That should be relatively safe. 
So don't get too close to that area or you'll spawn all the monsters that we're gonna about to hopefully be able to kill. Well, I did. Okay, good. But they're mostly aggro to me. Well, that's ideal. But it should at least pull them away from that block for you to go to. Well, I think the problem is anytime we get near it, it spawns more of them. And it spawns a large cluster. So I feel like there's probably a command block or something along those lines in there causing them to spawn in such a large amount. See how many it spawns? It's crazy. Yeah, I'm busy killing them. So my plan, before you like mess it all up, was to have like some lava or some kind of like thing that does damage. I do damage. You do, but not on the scale that we need to do damage on. Here, stand back. Back up. Back up. Yeah, make sure to shoot with that bow a lot, because you'll get upgrade points and stuff. All their armor must have some kind of reflection on it. Nice, you got it. Yep. Yeah, they might have like a reflection type thing. You're so good at lighting this place up. Thank you. Alright, so I'm gonna sneak into there and see if I can't figure out how they're spawning. And you really don't want any part of their attacks. Yeah, here they come. Yep, they're coming over to me now. Wow, they have a knockback. They do. They have a lot going on. I'd like to thank your fire for setting me on fire. Oh, you're quite welcome. Don't die, don't die. I died. Oh, Pymar. It's your fault. How did I... what... expect... huh? Lava? Lava. Was it not that obvious that lava was going to cause fiery death? Yeah, their armor definitely has some kind of, like, knockback on it, but the armor that I'm wearing is, like, I don't care. But, like, they spawn in massive droves just as soon as you get near them. I don't know what's causing them to spawn so darn much. This might have not been the right place to go. See, your lava technique doesn't always work, you know. Oh boy. Okay, I'm dead. <laughs> they really hurt. <laughs> I think they're just normal zombies with just incredible armor. Uh, I don't know what they are. Well, I think they are. I think you're right. But I think the problem is that, like, they spawn in, like, something's causing them to, like, spawn in a huge amount as soon as you walk over a certain threshold. Wow. And I don't know what that something is. I, 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 the only thing I can think of is a command block or some other block that maybe it's like a mob spawner of some kind. Okay, let's real quick get some basic armor. So going. you want to try enchanting our armor? We can try that. I have to get my armor back, though. Do you have a sword I can borrow real quick? A good one? Uh, don't you have a Palmer's pan? I don't know. 
check because they were plus 20 damage. Oh, really? I, no, I didn't. That was like a bag reward or something. I gave you the one I got. I can give you the one that you gave me. No, I don't want to lose it. Let's see. What would be a good one? I'm going to like run for it and see if I can't get my stuff. You're looking auto enchanter. would still be better than this one. So, I'm going to make one attempt, and then we'll see what happens. I'm just kind of waiting for my health to come back here. You know what I could do? I have an idea. I have a sneaky idea. A sneaky idea? Indeed. I actually lit up the room I was in pretty well, and I died in that room. So... What if I did this? Flint, bone, wooden. Sure, why not? You know what I'm going to want is some torches to light this up. What am I doing wrong that this auto enchanter is not taking um, liquid XP from this tank? Uh, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but I want to do it now. Whoa, what is happening to me? So I discovered some things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. What did you do? I don't even know what I did. I'll go get that corpse later. Your fingers for me, Bahamar. Crossing. Right, can you help me get my stuff? <laughs> yeah. I actually did a pretty good like way to get it, but I just need you because you have better armor and weapons. Where is I your armor, really... by the way? Because it's not rendering for me. Oh, there it is. You're just not wearing your helmet. Okay. Yeah, because I was um, going to enchant it, but then you decided you wanted to keep doing death runs. Well, I'm trying to get my stuff back. Death runs. Right. Getting my stuff back. But you're not doing so good at it. I never claimed to be in any way good at getting my stuff back. So what are you trying to do? If you walk through that ineffable glass, my stuff's like in the room that I made a cobblestone pathway to. Back up. I'm good. If you jump in front of me, I will end up killing you. I know. I just wanted to, some mobs like fell in here and that's what I wasn't prepared for. So I just put some ceiling in there. All right, hang on, let me sneak in front of you.
All right, I got it. Tell me yeah, out. but you have a really nasty zombie. I'm fine. Right there. No, I'm good. Hooray! Good right. job. All right, let's take a look at enchanting, and we'll come back in a minute. How's that sound? That sounds fantastic. Okay, see you in a minute, guys. Let's yes, sir. Made a path. So I discovered something interesting. What's that? These guys uh, drop their armor, and it's enchanted. So we should just kind of like be careful about this area. You mean like ineffable glass it up? Yes. You can't shoot through it, dude. I know. But like what I was doing was getting close enough to spawn them and then moving back towards this hallway and just killing them that through the like hole in the floor. That's like dense diamond ore. Is there diamond ore down there? We have lots of diamonds though, so I'm not too worried about diamonds. Should I lava it up down there? As long as you don't like murder things. Oh, that involve us. It's a little bit of what I do. Alright, watch it because I'm putting lava down. Just don't put it under my feet. Alright, I won't make any promises about your feet. Alright, it's under your feet, so watch out. See, people don't like the lava trick. I think it's a good trick. I think it's... I just lit up that area down there and now monsters won't really spawn. Can we come back in a sec? We can. Back in a sec. Okay, we're back. Yeah, we're back. Sorry, there was a telephone call. Very pressing. No worries, dude. Alright, so I'm gonna call this a nice place. To lava up. And I'll put cobblestone on top of it so nobody accidentally walks on the lava. How's that sound? Oh, zombie in the room. Why did a zombie spawn in here? I don't know. They might be spawning on top of these pillars. Yep. That can be my only guess. Alright, do you want to try and like venture forth down this ladder? Sure. Oh, you're going first? Okay. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah? How bad is it? Spawners. A lot of them? Yeah, do you have more lava? I do. Right here. Open okay. hole. Perfect. Cool. Anywhere else? That should do it. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll do it. I found out why you take damage. They don't have a bounce back, they just have thorns on their armor. Oh, okay. I'm just waiting for these mobs to die from the lava. Then I will... Oh, there's that guy, though. Mm -hmm. hmm. Alright, down there? Yeah, I seem to be okay. Okay. Should I come down? Sure. Is there a reasonable level of safeness? Yes. Wait, hold on. This guy might set himself on fire. Creeper. I'm trying to get this guy. It's a fallen knight by the look of this texture. Yeah, and they're nasty. I got him. Good call on the glass. I'm going to take a look around and just make sure there's no darkness in this area. So yeah, lots of dense diamond ore, so that's exciting. See how helpful that lava was, dude? Okay, I'll give you that. That lava there was helpful. 
that lava there. No other lava that we've used thus far has been helpful, but that one was key. I'm going to go around to the left. You're going around to the right, right? Uh, I don't know what direction you're going. I'm going the opposite direction of you. Okay. There is molten meteorite in here. That's kind of cool. I don't know what that is. I wonder if that's part of a quest we have to do. I have a feeling that a lot of this is related to quests. Okay. Meteorite. Yes, we need 40 ingots of it. I have enough to grab four buckets worth. We should start carrying tanks with us. We should. You should I... get better at lighting things up. Chill out. Well, oh, like, sorry. there's so much open space in here. We can probably get rid of this lava now. No, we can't. Right. Well, you're right. We actually need to deal with these spawners first. I'm dealing with these diamonds first. Diamonds for days. There's spawners inside the diamonds. Uh, you right? Just a little bit of fire. All right. I'm going to head back and get a tank. Um, so I can collect some of this molten meteorite. Do you want to come back in a minute after I run back to our main base and get the tank? Yes, I would also appreciate it if you could, um, now that these spawners are taken care of, okay. bring more torches okay. and clean up the lava. Okay, we'll be back in a minute, guys. All right, Pahamar, I am back. I got some resources for us, but I heard you died. Yeah, something about lava. Ugh, that stinks. Yeah, that dang lava. Hey, that dang lava is responsible for us getting down there. Well, I'll let you know that I have a lot of respect for lava when it doesn't kill me. Good. You should respect it when it can kill you. That's like the number one time you should respect something. So I've got almost enough muterite stuff to do what we want to do, um, which is the quest. I'm going to collect a bunch more of this. I was going to say, you did realize this giant tank of it that we climbed down, right? Uh, I don't know that I noticed that existed, no. Well, I'm glad I have you as my partner, where you're so observant. Good. I'm glad that you're glad that I'm observant. Because if it wasn't for you, who would have noticed? Man, there's so many diamonds, I feel like I'm playing with equivalent exchange. So overpowered? Topical jokes. Alright, I definitely have like way more of this meteorite stuff that, that we need, so we're good on that stuff. Uh, I brought you torches, do you need them still, or did you make some while you were dying? I, yes, as I was dying. With my dying breath, I made torches. Well, it's a good thing to make. I think, unfortunately, we have to wrap up the episode, but I want to come back next episode and continue exploring this uh, this place because I feel like we've made good progress through this area today. I would agree. Um, yeah, no, we have, like, tons of progress. You might want to grab that bone. Get what? Bones are valuable, man. Okay, you're the boss. Do you want me to get rid of the lava up there? Yeah, sure. I have, right. like, bajillions of diamonds to take back, so... Cool. Well, are you ready to light up the area? Because if I remove the lava, we're going to want to do that. Okay, I'll go back down and I'll do it. You lava. go bring the diamonds back. I'm already down here. Oh, oh you're like the worst. With, guys. This is what I put up with on a regular basis. Hey, All at right. least I managed to do the parkour up here. Alright, I'm lighting this area up as best I can. In that it's already lit up? Good job. Yes. Yeah, because of me. I did more. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's a lot of that meteorite stuff down there, but we don't have to go down there for that. I'm sure there's more to explore, but it's not straight down. It's around the corner. So we'll come back next episode, guys, and check out what else to find in this area, and I'll look through our list Dang of quests it. and see what we have to hand in. Sound like a plan, Pahamar? Sounds like a plan.
Alright guys, for now, Daryl20 and Pahimar wrapping up the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy. So many diamonds. Bye. Bye.